Hi kitty cats. I look ridiculous. I'm in the midst of taking this makeup off. And let me tell you, people, you think that school looks are like some of the simplest looking things, but they're one of the hardest Halloween looks to pull off. And I did not pull this one off very well at all. I know you guys will probably go say nice things, but no, not one of my best looks. So, some of you guys and gals and whatnot told me that you were interested in hearing about my tarot stories. So, I'm going to do that. If you don't like tarot or you find tarot offensive, this is not a video that you are probably going to watch. Or want to watch and that's okay um but I did have some requests for this when I asked and um I was like this sounds like a pretty good deal to me oh my god so my face is gonna be mostly pink throughout this <laughs> oh cuz I'm gonna have to get the rest of it off with my cleansers oh my goodness ah, there's so much pink ah. all right that's i think as good as it's gonna get until i uh use my baking soda cleanser stuff or whatever it is i forget the name of it right now um so yeah and ah my glasses fogged up a little bit. Don't know why, really. Anyhow, you will have already seen that look on my Instagram, hopefully, and been completely horrified. Um, it did not go well. I'm really just like laughing at how badly it went for me. Something was in my head, and it did not go on my face the same way. But yeah, we're gonna talk about tarot right now and I don't have any tarot cards in front of me I should have brought some with me but I mean I think most people know what tarot cards are what they look like blah 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 right so what I'm, we are gonna do here is uh talk about different things that happened to me while I was reading tarot I started reading cards not just tarot cards but different types of oracle cards when I was pretty young, um, my parents didn't know about it, <laughs> uh, and because they would have considered it something like evil or whatever, so I had a lot of stuff from my parents that I was doing, which is one of the reasons I do not teach anybody under the age of 18 tarot or witchcraft because I don't want to deal with parents getting upset and kids the truth is, is until you're 18, it's up to your parents what you do. So, and when it comes to stuff like that. Sucks, because it's sh it really, in my opinion, should be your own choice what religion or, you know, things you, tarot wasn't part of a religion, but witchcraft is. Um, or whatever you're into spiritually should be up to you. But... A lot of parents don't agree with that, so forth. I wait till, you know, till you're legal. I don't teach anything. Um, but I'm going to talk about uh, tarot card readings I've done. Uh, one of the first times I did a tarot party was actually at Halloween. I had a big Halloween party. I was kind of known for having big Halloween parties. Um, but they were kind of outrageously crazy. Uh... <laughs> And a couple times the cops were called. <laughs> like things happened. Um, but at the beginning of these parties, they were they seemed pretty normal. You know, people came inside. I often would greet everybody um, in whatever costume I had that year. And this was just I just really enjoyed Halloween. The roommates I had seemed to really enjoy, you know, my parties or whatever. And but some of them were like ridiculously crazy. And we were young and. 
stupid and gossiped and did dumb things and yeah so but I would read cards at, at them too I would do them in my bedroom so and you know just with nobody else around it would just be me and them and I did a reading for a friend of mine and um he didn't he didn't react to it too much but I said um there was a card that came up uh it was an oracle deck it wasn't a tarot card deck it was an oracle deck and the bat came up and the bat is kind of like the death card in regular tarot which usually means transformation and I want you to understand that because the death card doesn't always mean death it can mean a death of say your job it can mean the death of many different things because you're transforming onto something else um so this thing dies another thing grows from it that's what it usually is about and in certain cases though it does mean something else and in this case i did say someone uh close to you is going to pass away and I felt really bad about it because here we are at this big Halloween party having a fun and drinking and stuff and I said this thing and I told him I said don't take too much stock in it because I'm drinking and this is just for fun um because he knew that like I did cards on the regular and he knew I was pretty good at it and um what did happen and then I moved away we didn't see each other for a few years. I ended up finding out that it was his cat that passed away um, not long after. So it was like, oh, okay. Um, not that that it wasn't sad. It was super sad. And that is not a ridiculous story. That's just like one of the first times that I realized that tarot can be pretty powerful sometimes and sometimes very upsetting. He did not get upset about it, but some people get upset hearing something like that and that's totally understandable so when you go to get a reading you're probably just going to get guided that's what tarot cards are really for it's to guide you to help you make decisions if you're seeing a psychic who reads tarot you're going to get more than that you're going to get like you know uh situations where they're talking to the spirits as well that are around you and such so that's a little bit different. I'm just a regular tarot card reader. On occasion, something like that will happen, but not very often. I'm very empathic, but I am not psychic. So anyways, although sometimes I do feel ghosts or whatever, but that's, you know, something else. So anyways, 10 years later, um, I am, I have my own store. Uh, I had a new age gift shop called the Mystique Boutique. And um, we had we had clothes and crystals and jewelry. And we also sold tarot cards. I had uh, an angel card reader that came in and read cards. And then I myself read tarot. Um, and one thing I've learned over time is you probably shouldn't read couples cards. I rarely do it, rarely, because of situations like this. Um, this couple wanted to get their cards read together and I said okay and they came in and I even said oh, I'm just gonna charge the regular price for you I'm not gonna charge double like some people would like this is your first time so I just you know I was trying to be cool about it and they came in I read the cards it didn't go well they ended up getting into a fight in the middle of the reading like really screaming at each other fight um I had to call my husband at the time and I was like I need some help because they don't know how to get these people out of here. I'm not even going to charge them anymore because they did not like their reading. It caused a big upset. And I was like, I don't know. It turned out because I said in the reading, I said, there are some things that you are keeping from your wife. 
and you need to talk to her about those things. I didn't know what those things were. The cards did not tell me what those things were, but it, they got into a fight. <laughs> um, she was like, I knew it. He was just, you know, this is bullshit. This isn't real. And he was the one that was just like, oh yeah, we gotta go get our cards read. And <laughs> it did not go well. They were screaming and fighting at each other. Yeah. I did finally get them out. She came back and she paid me. I told her, I said, there, no charge. Like, you know, that was kind of a disaster. And she was like, no. She was like, you told the truth. You told us what the card said. And she's like, and now we're in counseling. And, which is awesome. Because they obviously needed it. But also kind of traumatizing for me <laughs> like the whole situation i'd never dealt with that before so it was pretty upsetting um i also uh another thing that happened there people are just messed up so i had a customer come in wanted their cards read and she came in and I read her cards. It was pretty decent reading. Um, and she got upset. And she was like, oh, really? And I was like, <laughs> like, yeah, uh, is everything okay? And she was just like, it's the same everywhere. And I'm like, what do you mean? And it turned out she was going to every reading reader in the area and going in there and not liking her reading. It wasn't what she wanted to hear. Like she wanted some big romance to happen in her life. And I don't know, she didn't, and unless this happens to me with a lot of people, they seem to think that the cards are going to make things happen. No, the cards are just telling you what's going on. And they also give you chances to change what's going to happen. But they don't decide what's going to happen. <laughs> like, they aren't, the cards aren't little gods that are going to change your fate. You know, you have to do that. And I explained this to her and she was like, oh, that's what they all say. And she was mad and she stomped out and I was like, hey, you didn't pay me. And she was like, I'm not paying you, bitch. And it was just like... Well, you can't come back into the store then. <laughs> I was like, don't come back. Don't want to see you. And I called up other stores to warn them. Most of them had already seen her, knew who she was, um, and said that she was also banned. So pretty much she got herself banned from every reader and new age shop in the area. <laughs> um, not a smart move, lady. So that was fun. Uh, this is what I deal with. And then there's another one that came in. Oh, she, this one's a real hoot. She came in and she was very quiet and very like meek. She seemed really tired and she wanted a reading. I was like, okay, let's, you know, go behind the curtain here. And we went behind the curtain and sat down and did the reading and it was a really nice reading like it showed just like everything in her life was going perfectly and i was like you got the job you want you got the life you want you got the romance like there is nothing bad at all which is good you know but usually there's something like oh this might happen you know so you need to do these things so that this doesn't happen which nobody ever does the things that they need to do. Um, so it was like a spectacular reading and, you know, and not when I say bad, things, not really bad things, but sometimes things that are just like, oh, you know, you need to make some changes here or, you know, you need to spend more time, you know, uh, meditating or something. But this person, this person's life was pretty much perfect. It was like amazing. And she just seemed distraught. And I was like, I, what's wrong? And she was like, I just wanted to know about the vampire. And I was like, excuse me? 
and she was like the vampire and I was like a psychic vampire like is somebody just like sucking up your energy and she's like no a vampire there's been a vampire in my house it keeps coming in and sucking my blood look and she like showed us there was like scratch on her neck it wasn't even like what you know the usual vampire you know two little dots that people see um in movies and stuff it wasn't even like that it was like literally a scratch and I was like do you have a cat <laughs> I was just like lady there's no vampire and I was like I'm sorry but there's no there's nothing like that happening and she was like oh she was like maybe she was she was like I'll pay you but I, I need to find out about the vampire and I was like I don't see anything about a vampire and I was like I'll throw down a few extra cards if you want and I did that for her of no extra charge just threw down some cards and nope all good things again and she was just like she was like I don't think I can go back to sleep knowing that this vampire is going to get to me like she was so serious I really was just like this woman is has like everything in her life that anybody could possibly want and she has somehow in her mind decided that there's a vampire it's like i felt like she was just making in her mind something up so that you know so that there was some sort of discourse because everything going well can be uncomfortable it can for a lot of people and i think that in her case it made her so uncomfortable that she in her she just warped her mind to believe she was being you know eaten by a vampire <laughs> i'm sorry I love vampire stories and vampire movies. Like, I'm really into, like, oh, Buffy is awesome. Um, and, you know, I'm not a fan of Twilight, though. Sorry, I'm not. Um, vampires shouldn't sparkle. It's just silly to me. Um, just, but not as silly as somebody thinking that because they're, they got a scratch on their neck that vampires were coming to get them. She never came back again. And... I actually talked to another store owner that I knew that had the same type of shop and I mentioned the story to her. I never say names. Um, and she's like, oh, I, I know, I know her. She was like, she, she came in here too. And it was just like, she, she literally went someplace else hoping that they would give her the information she wanted about this, like, who is this vampire? And, um. I don't, I don't know. It was really weird. Very weird. So, yeah, there was that story. And that's what I'm saying. People are crazy. When it comes to tarot reading, um, and I've had people come in and be like, tell, tell me they don't believe. And by the end, they're like, oh my gosh, this is so true. I've had a lot of those, of course. Um, I've made one of my friends I made because I did a tarot party and I read his cards and he was just like, yep, yep. He was like, you are amazing. And the next day he came to where I was staying and brought a pizza and he was like, I want to be your friend. And we got drunk and had fun and became really good friends for many, many, many years. Um, and... Those were good times. <laughs> so, I mean, that's a good story. The, um, I had, I once told somebody, I was like, if you do not fix your car within this many days, like, your car is going to, like, fall apart. And he said, yeah, I know. I really need to take it in. It's acting really weird. And... The next week, the car just stopped running in the middle of, like, the street while he was driving. <laughs> and it almost caused an accident. It was like, dude, I told you, and you did not listen to me. Of course, who knows, maybe money was an issue. I don't know, but that's what ended up happening. Um, other stories. Let's see. <laughs> I have a lot. 
So here's one that's always fun. Not really. Uh, I was doing a, a tarot party and this one girl came to the party that wanted her cards read. And I should have known uh, not to read them. Something about her was off for me, but I liked her. She was really pretty and I thought, this is like somebody that needs my help. No. Um, I read the cards and the card said somebody in your life is going to be going through like a really traumatic experience. They're going to get really sick. Um, they might, you know, it's going to be bad. You know, it's going to be really, really bad. And I told her, I was like, you know, if you need somebody to talk to, I'm here for you. You know, I, I tried to be very kind to her and she was just kind of like, oh, this stuff isn't real anyways. And I was like, okay, you know, I came to a para party, get your cards read, but I guess you were just doing it to see, you know, for fun. And that happens. People do it just to be like, ooh, you know, and, uh, it's like, okay. And a year goes by <laughs> and I was around this person every now and then because she was a friend of a friend and what I just it was one of those deals where they decided that the cards made things up it, or I made things up I made things happen I'm a very powerful witch apparently she told everyone that I cursed her family her um, stepfather got really sick with cancer. And I was just like, I didn't make that happen. It was going to, and even the friend that I had that like was her friend, you know, he told her too. He was like, that's not how it works. And, but she insisted that I cursed her family. She would say horrible things about me everywhere. She even went as far as to call um, DCF on me. You know what that is? Making all sorts of absurd claims about Bianca. Um, the only reason that I know it was her, because you know that stuff's anonymous, is I had a suspicion and then I talked to somebody else and they were like, oh yeah, they, they made the call. And it was just like, why didn't you tell me about it? You know, and they were like, I didn't think it would get taken seriously. I was like, they have to take all those calls seriously. Um, so somebody ended up coming to my house and pretty much just checking everything off of a list and being like, you're fine. You know, don't worry about it. So, fun. Um, yeah, that was one of those fun times in my life. And it, it's just like reading tarot can be like a very difficult thing. People don't react well. You're not protected by anything, you know? So, Hello, darling. oh, there goes my phone. Um, you know, like, I feel like maybe I should start making people sign contracts first. There have been incidents where I have not read tarot for people. There was, in fact, a guy, once again, at a tarot party. He came in near the end and I said I was too exhausted. Um, and I do tell people now when I'm doing a tarot party, I reserve the right to say no to doing a reading for someone. This doesn't mean anything bad's going to happen to them. It means the energy around them somehow is off for me and I am just not going to do it. Um, sorry. <laughs> and that makes people mad too because they're, they think that I am, you know, doing something bad to them by not re It's just like... No, that's not the situation. I just, you're off for me. Every time I've done this, I've later on found out about this person getting into a lot of trouble in their life. Um, one guy I didn't read, this one guy I didn't read for that came into a party and I said, you know, I'm too tired, too exhausted to do any more. And it turned out he was a drug dealer and not just like weed or anything, like he was a heroin dealer. 
he dealt in heroin and crack and all that glorious stuff like yeah and he himself became an addict um and ended up going to jail and he ended up beating on his girlfriend like it was really bad like and it was just like well there you go like i'm glad i didn't read the cards for them see here's a funny story <laughs> Uh, some people know about me and John met at a Halloween party the night before Halloween. That is when we met. He followed me around at this party. And interestingly enough, he had been told by friends that he should meet me because I'm single. And, you know, which is kind of funny because I was sort of dating somebody else who was also named John. Um, and... Yeah, I did say a name there, but we're not talking about, like, you know, a reading for them. Um, it's just... And in this case, I'm going to tell you the name of the person I was reading for because we tell this story all the time. Uh, my John, I read his cards. And in the cards, I was kind of smiling because I knew that the cards were talking about me. The cards were actually having me tell this person that I was not good for them. <laughs> and, well, not exactly, but it just said I was going to turn his world upside down. And I did. Um, in many ways. We turned each other's worlds upside down in many ways. So, but it was kind of like, dude, this chick is going to like really make things crazy for you. We made things crazy for each other for some time before we finally settled down. Um, and, you know, you know how that story ends. So, and that's all I think I'm going to tell for today. I can't think of any other ones that are like really major or funny or weird at the moment. But I know there are more. I've done many readings um, for many people. And like I said, I don't say names on these things because, you know, I don't want to call anybody out and that would be inappropriate because when you do get a reading, it is a personal thing. It's, it's not like a therapist. I'm not a therapist, but in the way that it's private, it is private. It's between you and me. And so I might tell a story about something that happened, but I will never say names ever. Even when you are crazy and think you were bit by a vampire. <laughs> I just won't because that's, you know, that would be inappropriate. And so that's it. Those are my crazy tarot stories for today. And I hope you enjoyed them and our little chat today. Our story time. And, uh, yeah. So I hope you've been enjoying all this. October season the my Instagram if you don't follow me on Instagram please go follow me on Instagram um I think I got shadow banned the other day on Instagram and so I could really use some people going and looking at me uh my Instagram is bad kitty beauty super easy uh or there I think I have a link down below in the information too so you know go check me out and the looks I've been doing. Don't look at this last one though. It's really bad. I put it up anyways. Because I, I, I failed a different look. And I didn't put it up. And I'm like ah, I have to do this. I have to put this up. Because um, I'm a little behind on my looks. So trying to catch back up. so that Because I'm trying to do one every day. And I messed that up. But I have a lot of things that I want to do. So there you go. Anyways. I'll just chat away. So. Thanks for watching and remember to always be kind even if they think they're being bit by a vampire. Bye bye kitty cats.